we are at an Airbnb that is actually an old farmhouse. Look at this. Look how cozy this living room is. We're getting our pillows and our blankets ready to go. We got the spooky stories on the TV over here. And this is what we are making for our snack tonight. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm at Walmart right now and I'm looking for a spooky movie for tonight. I'm not exactly sure what I want to watch. They have a lot of stuff here, even though they don't have out like their uh, their setups with what they consider the Halloween movies yet. Like usually, you know, Walmart will have things like this uh, thing set up over here with all the movies that they consider to be Halloween movies. But they do have a lot of things to choose from, so we're just going to look around a little bit here. See what they have and see what... Uh, what looks good oh my gosh <laughs> look at this right here right off the bat chucky complete seven movie collection holy crap that is so cool i actually have a couple of these at least three of them so we're not going to get that but it is pretty awesome i love the holographic front on there all right let's see we have the halloween collection right here three film set and that is Halloween H2O, Resurrection, and Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers. The only one I like out of those is H2O. I love that one. Here is a Thrills and Chills collection. Pet Cemetery, A Quiet Place, Crawl, and what's that? Overlord. Hmm. I've seen Quiet Place. I have not seen the remake of Pet Cemetery yet. I don't think I've seen Crawl or Overlord. Now these are hilarious. At least the first one is. Scary Movie Part 1 is absolutely hilarious. 2 is okay. 3 and on are not the greatest ever. If you know these movies, you know that the Wayans Brothers are in Part 1 and 2. And then they're not in any of the ones after that. But Scary Movie 1 is hilarious. We got The Strangers 1 and 2. That's a 2 movie collection. The Purge and the Purge Anarchy, but I'm not really in the mood for something like that. I mean, those are scary movies, but I want to see, like, something that's, I don't know, kind of spooky, Halloween-ish, you know? Oh, <laughs> here we go. Scream 1, 2, and 3. Definitely spooky. Has nothing to do with Halloween, but some of my favorite movies ever. I love Scream. Now, here's a fun one. The House with a Clock in the Walls. I have not seen that one. That's got Jack Black in it. Um, I have seen Casper, though, and that is a fun one. It's just a fun, family, spooky movie. That's definitely in the running. And that's only 10 bucks for that two-pack, so the, that'd be cool. You get a good one, and then you get one I haven't seen yet. Here we got Get Out, The Ring, and The Ring 2. Oh, that's three of them. That's Ring, Ring 2, and Rings. That's part three. I think I've seen one and two. I know I've seen one because it scared the crap out of me. Um, two, I think I saw, and I haven't seen that one. Look at this one, Dark Stories. Ooh, this one looks good. Monsters are not always in your head. I bet that would be awesome. That looks like a doll. That looks like me right there. What the heck? That is definitely one I want to watch, but not right now. Look at this. They have, look, it looks like all the Saw movies. I don't know how many there are, but it looks like when they're stocked, they have all of them right here. What in the world is Alfred? Your mind is his playground. That looks creepy right there. I don't recognize any of those actors either. So it's probably a horrible movie, but you never know. We're not gonna find out tonight though. Here's another one called Held. Okay, The Nest, what the heck? Don't let the bed bugs bite, heck yes, look at this. This is about bed, is this really about bed bugs? When Meg and her mother Beth visit a yard sale, Beth buys her younger daughter an adorable stuffed bear. Yep, it's about attack of the bed bugs. <laughs> All right, Quiet Place 2, I did see that. In fact, we went to the theater recently to see that one. Pretty good movie. Here's Spiral. This is another uh, one in the Saw series, and Chris Rock is in this, and Samuel L. Jackson. I wonder how good that is. I'm not going to find out tonight, but here's the newest Halloween. I do not own this one yet, 
I should get it, but I'll save it for when we decide to watch it. Halloween Kills, I think, comes out this year, but I am not positive about that. I actually have Willy's Wonderland. I bought it from a red box, but I have not watched it yet. It looks pretty crazy, though. What in the world is this? Psycho Gore Man? He will bathe in your blood. <laughs> okay, hilarious and absurd. Exactly. The kind of genre cinema we dream of. I bet that would be good just because it's made to be stupid. Oh, here's the Adams Family. I have not seen this one yet. Okay, that is definitely in the running. We might have to get this one. And look what's right down here. A three-pack Munster laugh pack. The Munster's Family Portrait, The Munster's Revenge, and Munster Go Home. Oh my god, I can't help it. I just walked through this aisle and I saw this book called I Need a New Butt. Okay, we got one more thing of movies out here. Let's just take a peek here before we settle on The Adams Family. But I think that's probably going to be what it is. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, there's Monsters Inc. It's not Halloween-y, but it's awesome. Let's see, Scooby-Doo Monster Movies Collection. Okay, here's Hotel Transylvania. This is the three movie. Like, they have all three of them here, but this one includes all three of them for 16 bucks. I think Adam Sandler does his voice, if I'm not mistaken. We'll save that one for another night, though. Speaking of Adam Sandler, I wish they had Hubie Halloween. I would buy that one on DVD in a second. All right, guys, it looks like that's it for the movies at this Walmart, so... I guess we're going to settle on The Adams Family. I'm excited to see this. I have not seen it yet, but tonight is the night. Alright guys, we're going to make our snack in just a minute here, but I've got to show you where we're staying tonight. We are at an Airbnb that is actually an old farmhouse. Look at this. Look how cozy this living room is. We're getting our pillows and our blankets ready to go. We got the spooky stories on the TV over here, and this is what we are making for our snack tonight. I can't remember what the movie was that we did last year that we made these, but we're going to make Rice Krispie Treats Monsters. They're basically like Rice Krispie Treat mummies. This is one of my favorite treats I've ever made for a spooky movie night. Now, this is all stuff you can get at Walmart for about 15 bucks total. You can make these snacks. First, we have a pack of the Rice Krispie Treats. This is a 16-pack. These all come individually wrapped, so they are absolutely delicious and super fresh. We got a pack of assorted food coloring and egg dye. We got these awesome sprinkles right here, which are little eyeballs. Check that out, guys. They actually had another pack that was nothing but eyeballs, but they were like three bucks, and I think these were under three dollars, and they came with these other sprinkles too. And then we're also going to use these white melting wafers. Now, they have some that are name brand. These are just great value. They're about three dollars less for each of these than you pay for the name brand. Now, since we're watching the Adams Family, you could just do this easy. I noticed while I was in Walmart, they actually have Adams Family cereal. You could easily just buy those boxes of cereal and mix them up together in a bowl and have a nice snack mix. And that would be perfectly fine and it would be super fun for the Adams Family movie night. But that's not what we're going to do. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get some wax paper. Lay that down on your table, then we're going to open up each and every individual Rice Krispie Treat. Okay, once you have those prepared, you're going to take out a couple of different uh, colorings here, whatever you want to use. I bought three of these, one so I can keep it white, and two that I can do in different colors. I am going to do a green and orange, which I don't have an orange coloring, so I'm going to have to use a red and a yellow and mix them. I think those are pretty good monstery, spooky, Halloween-y colors. I'm going to use my white candy to pour across in lines across these Rice Krispie Treats to make it look like wrappings on a mummy. And I want those wrappings to be white, so I'm going to save the white part for last. I'm going to do my colors first, because I want to take my Rice Krispie Treats and dip them in the colors so that I'll have orange ones and green ones and then just regular white ones. I'll show you what I mean. So these melting wafers, they come in white. You can also get them in chocolate, but I chose white because we're going to be coloring it. And you can see that it's literally wafers in there. Take off the top, 
peel off the plastic, and the instructions read to stick this in the microwave for 30 second increments up to about two minutes, stirring at every 30 second increment until it's smooth. Now once this is melted, you kind of have to work fast because it will get really thick. Okay guys, well those are done. Take a good look at them here. They didn't work out exactly how I wanted it to. When you're working with this chocolate, you have to work really fast because it thickens up. So you can see it wasn't pourable. This is supposed to be like bandages on, uh, on little mummies there. So I pulled it out anyways. I put some sprinkles on. I gave these guys some hair and they look really cool anyways. So that is our snack for the night. We are going to settle in and watch The Addams Family and have an awesome Saturday night snack and a movie. <laughs> Alright, let's taste one of these. Um, let's do, let's just do a green ear right here. Oh, just one, okay. Yeah, yeah. you want to take a little bite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Not too shabbily. I think they're delicious. <laughs> it's so much sugar in there, it's crazy. Mm. You guys are going to be bouncing off the walls when you eat these. All right, we're going to watch the movie, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.